Season 12, Episode 2 of American Horror Story, Delicate, titled Rockabye, picks up where Episode 1 left off. We see Anna talking to the cops with her husband about the alleged stalker that was evidently in her home. And it just goes on from there. She then kind of goes to the doctors and then she sees that she is actually pregnant. She gets the pregnancy test done. She's like 11 weeks. She can't, you know, whatever's happening. This is a really different episode than the first episode. It was directed, this one was directed by Jennifer Lynch, and she captured the essence of it being a psychological horror thriller, which is really good. But the main character of Anna does not absolutely know what the hell is going on at all. You yourself don't even know what's going on. It is confusing at times. It's not confusing at times. But then you're in the same world as her you're trying to figure out what's going on and then you also have her publicist role where she's trying to hey you know you're going to do things we're going to push you forward for the oscars you're going to win these awards well her first aspect is everything is the gotham awards where she goes she attends she's the front runner she wins and then she has an episode on stage she evidently is dehydrated but before then she's in the women's restroom and a fan you know is confronts her and the whole thing goes like it's like goes away you know it's just it's very different it's very very interesting to explain this episode when you are trying to figure out what's happening as well as you're watching it and then the whole aspect of what's going on what's not going on her being there her being not there who can you trust who can you not trust the whole thing about this season is definitely straightforward and it feels like Rosemary's Baby. It is based off of a book called Delicate Condition. I don't know how much of that book is in this season, but uh, this is part one. This is split into two parts. I don't know how long these episodes are, but it's really, really different than what you would think. Dennis O'Hare as Dr. Andrew Hill is really, really good. Not in it as much. You hear a couple voiceovers when he's on the phone with Anna. Emma Roberts is really good. But I feel like the season so far, even though it's only two episodes, we need to move faster and move forward. It is a cult. I feel like it's witches. It's Celtic rituals or whatever it is. Maybe kind of foreshadowing when Anna's looking on her phone and she's making some kind of soup. And um, But it's really interesting to see what's going to happen and how it progresses and how the horror aspect is there. And after the end of each episode, we see the next episode or the future couple episodes after that. I do think that this is going to take an interesting turn. What's going to happen? There is a lot of color difference the yin and the yang the black and white the red and the glow of certain things the architectural design the blocking and how everything is put into frame and if you pay attention to it you understand that certain things are happening every single one she comes in contact with anna is wearing black not only that you have mrs or uh miss preacher what's her role who is the role and what is the aspect of certain other characters that are coming in? What is the aspect of Billy Lord coming in and how everything else is going to be, especially with Leslie Grossman? And who and how is it going to progress the story? This is definitely psychological, as I stated, and more so gaslighting. But who's doing it? Why are they doing this to her? Why do they want this baby, so to speak? And what is the whole aspect of understanding this character from the beginning and what's going to happen to her and this is the recent and most recent season of american horror story where i know where it's really forward with the psychological aspect to it which is really good i love psychological horror but do it in a way where we're getting things explained to us as we're watching it we're just like anna we have no idea what the hell is going on and we actually don't know what the hell is going on because as she's going through it and it's unraveling for her it's also unraveling for us i'm really curious to see how it plays out what's going to happen and if it progresses to a way where the writing gets better and how the aspect of maybe postpartum depression is there and being a parent being in the limelight, having no stress, but being an actress trying to get pregnant, always being in the forefront of the media, and what can happen. So I'm really curious to see how it plays out in a way where American Horror Story Delicate can be good 
if done right, only two episodes in, I will say that Jennifer Lynch really captured the essence of the feel of horror in her own mind right, but then the writing is going to be different, I feel. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about episode, Season 12, Episode 2 of American Horror Story, Delicate, titled Rockabye. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What do you think of it? What do you think about the aspect of the story? Do you think that Anna's being gaslighted and the whole aspect of the psychological thing is there? Do you think it has a Rosemary's Baby's feel to it? What do you think is going to happen? And do you think that it's good that this season is broken up into two parts? Or should it be just a certain amount of episodes and we move on? Do you think that everyone is part of a cult or part of a ritual sacrifice for this unborn baby for some reason and for what it is? Let me know in the comment section below. And be sure you click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for new review videos on my channel. I will see you all in the next review video. And be sure you tune in next week for my Season 12 Episode 3 review of American Horror Story Delicate.